All right, so at the moment I'm about 14 weeks out from contest and I'm gonna try and add a bit of flavor to my chicken instead of just the typical old boiled chicken breast, which can get pretty boring pretty quickly. Um, still keep it low carb with some healthy, healthy fats. So we've got coconut oil, turmeric, crushed garlic, crushed ginger, sea salt, crushed chilies, cayenne pepper, and ground black pepper. And of course, two kilos of chicken. All right, so you wanna get your chicken breast. Try and cut as much fat off as possible, which I'll do now. And you can cut it into as you know, bigger pieces or as smaller pieces as you like. Alright, so now that's done. I've started off with just over two kilos of chicken breast and cut off a bit of fat, so just to make sure I get two kilos of actual chicken breast in the uh, slow cooker. Alright, so you want to put in about 50 grams of coconut oil. The easiest way to do that is to weigh the ingredients in the jar first. 372, so about 322 we'll get it down to and then you'll know you've got 50 in the slow cooker um, it's an easy way to do it a lot less messy you don't need to get out each bit of coconut oil and put it all over the scale, it's making a mess so put your 50 grams of coconut oil into the pressure cooker And start putting your chicken breast in. Well, two kilos of chicken breast probably make about ten serves. And you probably want to give your hands a quick wash so you don't get chicken juices all over your spices. Throwing a bit of turmeric, not much. This is probably the one ingredient out of them all that you really don't want to put too much in. Roughly 100 grams of garlic. A lot of these ingredients are really good at boosting immunity and anti-inflammatory properties as well. Only about 50 grams of ginger. It's got a fairly strong flavour. A little bit of sea salt, not too much. And you don't really need to be exact with the herbs. I mean, add a bit more of what you like and a bit less of what you don't. And that was about 10 grams of crushed chili. I mean, I like my foods fairly spicy, so I'll probably add in a bit more than most people. Fair bit of cayenne.
cocaine I find is really good for fat loss. I mean, the more you put in, you really get that thermogenic feeling. <laughs> and that was about 20 grams of cayenne pepper. And then a bit of black pepper as well. So you want to stir it up a bit, just so when it's in the pressure cooker, it doesn't really just sit at the top. You want to kind of mix the flavours around a bit. So it's pretty quick preparation time, I mean, all that took me 10 to 15 minutes. That includes chopping the chicken, getting all the ingredients out. Alright, so that should do it and the pressure cooker should take care of the rest. So I put on a pot roast setting which is 24 minutes. But that's, I mean, it doesn't start counting until it reaches the desired temperature, and that takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So you're looking at about 35, 35, 40 minutes cooking time. All right, make sure the steam valve's closed, otherwise, you'll be waiting ages for it to cook. Alright, so I've let that cook for about 40 minutes. Um, I've released the steam valve and it sat in for another 5 minutes. Now, let's see what it looks like. Alright, so with the pressure cooker, it's going to be pretty tender meat. Yep, as you can see, it's pretty tender. None of that boiled, dry chicken breast. Alright, so I'll put that onto a plate. Or a bowl, I should say. I'm going to try and get some of the juices. Pour that on there. We'll have a look. It's pretty tender. And virtually no carbs. Alright, so if you do want carbs though, um, it goes pretty well with brown rice. I usually have this after a workout, just the one serving the day after the workout. The rice free version, you know, I'll have one to two servings a day. Once again, you want to get some of the juices on there, probably a bit more, just so it mixes with the rice as well. And, um, I mean, I could eat this all the way up until about a week or two before the contest, and then I might change the ratio a little bit, change the fats and stuff like that, maybe less rice, 
depending on how I look and feel before the contest. Alright. So yeah, that's exactly what you want. Plenty of flavour. Alright, so there it is. Um, hope you enjoy it. 